Let's pop the T subs and T squads. So y'all already know what to do. So make sure y'all do what to do. Follow the social media handles that y'all see before you guys, as well as the second channel, Gags with just the letter T. Um, and those of you guys that would like to donate to the channel, the PayPal and the Cash App is available. So first and foremost, shout out to everybody that's been reaching out to me. Listen, y'all, I'm okay. All right, I'm okay. Sometimes I just got to get stuff off my chest or whatever, and it just so happened to want to come off my chest last night doing the Roa Live, but I appreciate all of you guys. I thank all of you guys. I love all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me for however long y'all been rocking with me um, for whatever y'all reasons are for rocking with me. I totally appreciate you guys, and I ain't going nowhere. Like I said, Scotty ain't finna let me go nowhere. Really B ain't finna let me go nowhere. Errol Teddy ain't finna let me go nowhere. JoJo, Jamar, Maddie, you know, Carl, Tramiel, none of them. They not gonna let me go nowhere. So I ain't gonna go nowhere, girl. I ain't going nowhere. But y'all want to know who I wish to go some damn where? Ralphie Boy and Drew Sedora. Like, no Tino Shade. Y'all just need to allow y'all stuff to play out in the courts at this point because I'm over it. Let me tell you something, Ralph. Sometimes the best, I keep saying it. And y'all men keep doing y'all selves in all the time because y'all don't ever want to listen to the sissies and punks when we trying to tell y'all because maybe y'all will listen to us considering we men when we want to damn be and it's not just another female coming to y'all with this foolishness. Sometimes the best thing for men to do in situations that Ralph, like Ralphie boy is in, that he helped put himself in, sometimes the best thing for y'all to do is shut the up, all right? Shut up, shut up, shut up. Sometimes less is more. The less you say, the better. The damn better, the got damn better. For that matter, not God, G O D, got, G O T. Sometimes less is more, and it's just best to harsh. Anyway, this is what he decided to come out. He fine though, but this is what he decided to come out with and say last night, all up and down on Twitter and or X, depending on if your update happened in that. So this is what he had to say. So he says, I loved my wife with all my heart and supported her tremendously behind the scenes. However, I understand it didn't translate on the show. I'm here today because I have a responsibility to my kids, family, community, and supporters. This show is supposed to exhibit real life. However, slander playing the victim slash damsel in distress and acting and acting um, tainted the truth. There are three sides to a story and everyone deserves the complete picture. Hashtag R Rachel way. Nigga, shut the f up. I understand. I understand. I don't understand the attitude Drew just randomly had into this reunion on um, coming on to this reunion. Drew asked me to sleep in the room with her in the room the day before the reunion, so to switch up, uh, whoa, 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 because my mind is racing. I don't understand the attitude Drew just randomly had coming into this reunion. Drew asked me to sleep in her room the day before the reunion, only to switch up. I tried to allow her to lead the convo and, with Andy since she's trying to stop the divorce She's been trying to stop the divorce and now she's acting like someone different. I'm confused. My only goal was to speak the truth. Hashtag RHOA. Nigga, shut the up. I believe it's dangerous when someone can create a story to in, to intentionally hurt someone. We both knew that message. We both knew that message was a catfish. It was sent to me on Christmas Eve and I never responded just like Team Twirl said. The person took a screenshot and sent it to Drew 10 minutes later. If it were real, they would have they would have some dialogue between us, but there is nothing. For Drew to know the fake the message is fake and continuously choose and, and consciously choose to show Andy 
as if it's real is dangerous and damaging. This is how innocent people go to jail because because men especially are guilty until proven innocent. This has happened. This has happened a lot over our relationship and on the show. Imagine if I wasn't at the reunion to defend myself. I wish you wasn't because nigga, you need to shut the up. Wow. At least Drew is being honest with Andy about going to Dallas. She told her she she told me her mom got her a ticket to visit her dad in Chicago. Hashtag Roa. I ain't saying it again. For clarity, I initially found out Drew was having an affair through her assistant, but they weren't trying to have the relationship. I understand she was looking for some for something I obviously wasn't providing, and I apologize. Ultimately, I want Drew to be happy and wish them well. Hashtag RHOA. Girl, you and Mimi, anywho, y'all already know what he need to do. I hate that adoption became a storyline, especially since it is so sensitive and complicated. I want to punch you in your face. <laughs> Ralph, I swear to God, Ralph, if you was in my face right now, I promise you, Ralph, you wouldn't have one messing around with me because you is really testing my patience with this bull crap that you got going on right here to... I hate that adoption became how did you hate that adoption became a storyline meanwhile you made a whole damn book about it so you hate it became a storyline but you don't hate that you created a whole book That ain't even selling on Amazon. Child, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw it on the shelves of Goodwill and or City Trends, because y'all know they sell books. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if I saw it on the shelves of their and or City Trends. I really wouldn't. Anyway, I hate that adoption became a storyline, especially since it's so sensitive and complicated. I stepped up to be a father figure in JoJo's life, and I plan to never abandon his role. He He's blessed because he has two dads that love him. This isn't a competition. Hashtag RHOA. And that's all that I got. Listen, Ralph. Again. And this goes to all dudes that is in Ralphie Boy's position. Sometimes less is more and we don't need to hear from you. Okay. We don't need to hear from you. We don't need to hear your side of the story. The judge needs to hear your side of the story. Sometimes less is just more. When it comes to a person like Ralph, when it comes to dudes like Ralph Pittman, less is more. It just is. It is because you're never going to convince people about this. Like, and again, Ralph, nobody is saying Drew is innocent. Nobody is saying Drew is innocent. Nobody thinks that Drew is innocent. I think people do, you know, we, we, we know this. Okay. We do. However, looking at that reunion, it was cringy. Watching the two of y'all, it was very cringy. Watching how you was like trying to act so. Nobody believes that, that Drew is innocent of, of a lot of things. She's not innocent. But at the end of the day, I. <sighs> Listen, Ralph, less is more. Okay, because in my opinion, you bought you bought your mistress on this damn show and you used her to go up against your wife. So at the end of the day, Ralphie boy, again, less is more. Shut the f up. Shut up. Please shut up. Don't say nothing else, Ralph. Don't come out and say nothing else. Don't come out here and, 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 and want to have your side of the story because you ain't got no damn side of the story. And if you do, we don't care to hear it. You know, the person that needs to hear it is the judge or the magistrate that y'all sit in front of and y'all dealing with that. Y'all deal with that. Do not come out here and say nothing else, Ralph. Please don't come out here and say nothing else. 
Don't come out here and say nothing else. Any two times you got your whole mistress who got who got her mouth twisted to the side like Cynthia and I mean not Cynthia Charlotte Angelica's mama on <laughs> on Rugrats because she always got that damn phone. Girl, she all on got she all on. Got, wait a minute. Wait a wait you, wait a damn minute, and I'm gonna try my best not to curse. Another B I T C H please moment. Bet lady, I don't give a damn about this interview that the people keep sending me, nor do I give a damn about the particular part about how you went through a car accident and you decided not to get your jaw broke or whatever the case may be, or re-break your jaw to fix your face or do all of the rest of this stuff. You run around here talking about something you want people to know that they could be cute or fine in the skin they in or so on or some such. Like, girl, I don't care about none of that. I don't care about the people talking about how you went through a whole damn stroke and and that's why your mouth is twisted up the way it is. I guess you went through it when you was sitting around here sleeping and hunching on this woman's husband while he was going around there to Tampa and all of the rest of this foolishness. And then you got the nerve and the unmitigated gall to bring your behind up here on her platform. Because be clear, you nor him would not be up here if it was not for her. See, Drew, you really need to start knowing your worth and start understanding just what the... Anyway, y'all, look, that's it. That's all I got. I ain't got no more to get y'all because this ain't got nothing to do with Cousin Bet Lady and that foolishness that she got going on with Ralph. This ain't got nothing to do with them. I I'm over it. I'm done. I hope Drew does not come out and say anything. And I, I hope if, if she does say something, it's through her attorney. I hope she don't come out and say nothing. I hope she just leaves it alone. Please don't come out and say nothing else, y'all. It's over with. The show is over with. It's done for. We don't We don't care no more. We don't. We don't care no more. The next time we need to hear from y'all is because it's, the divorce is final. You moved on. He moved on. And, and that's that. Bye.